Welcome, welcome. Make yourselves comfortable. I'm your host, Lizzie May, personal housemaid to President and Lady Washington, and I'll be taking all your queries. So let's move right along here, shall we? What's your favorite food? Corn cakes with a side of kidneys and gravy. Uh, what's George Washington's favorite food? Corn cakes with a side of kidneys and gravy. It's the only thing we have in common. Gross. Oh, looks like we have another one. Yes, miss? Hey, Lizzie May, I spend a fortune on skincare products. What do you, as a slave, use to make your skin look so great? Trust me, honey, you don't want this skin. So, like, do you have any white friends? Well, I am so happy you asked that, because today we have a special guest, Mr. Tobias Lear, my master's personal secretary and an abolitionist, y'all. And I always say any abolitionist is a friend of mine. <laughs> Mr. Lear, I'm so glad you could take time out of your important white man schedule to come talk with us today. Well, it's very much my pleasure. <laughs> uh, now, Mr. Lear, hmm? uh, please tell us your opinions on slavery. I detest the institution of slavery. And how did you come to this opinion? Well, I am from New Hampshire, where we do not have slaves. In fact, we do not have any Negroes whatsoever in New Hampshire. Oh, well, Virginia must have been quite a shock. Uh, indeed. Indeed it is. There are a tremendous amount of Negroes here. There are Negroes everywhere you look. So many Negroes, more than I had ever thought, that were actually on the planet. They uh, seem to be all here. Yeah, well, um, As I, I see we have a call. Why, why don't we go ahead and take that? Mm -hmm. oh, hi, my name is Marge, and I'm from Minnesota. I, I, I just want to say that I, I agree with Mr. Lear. I, I think slavery was just horrible. Uh, slave masters were awful, just mm. terrible. Oh, Miss Margaret, although the institution of slavery is morally reprehensible, there were and are some good slave masters and owners. For instance, Thomas Jefferson, for example. Thomas Jefferson? He has sex with his slaves. Ha-ha! Yes, indeed. What? And there's Old Bill down at Pohick Roll. Now, Old Bill gives his slaves bacon on Sundays. Who does not like bacon? Well, I gotta say, I, I do enjoy bacon. <laughs> and from my position, it seems as though you've had your fair share, too. <laughs> now, Mr. Lear, I'm starting to get the feeling that you've never actually talked to a black person before. That's not true. I have been acquainted with Alexander Hamilton, who we all know has been touched with the tar brush. Uh, oh, I do believe we have another caller. <laughs> Yes, hello there, Lizzie May. I'm George, a uh, longtime fan, first time caller. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, Mr. Lear, nice to meet you. I'd like to know what you think the black folks will do when they're freed. Hmm. Well, when all this slavery business runs its course, we will have to provide safe passage for all the Negroes back to their home in Africa. What? That is where you people want to go, right? Back to Africa? Uh, no. Uh, Jamaica? What's that? <sighs> Jamaica's a nasty place, it's filled with mosquitoes about the size of your head. Now, Mr. Lear, I've had about enough of your two-bit abolitionin'. The black man has more than proved himself equal to the white man. We done worked the fields, built the cities, and fought in your goddamn revolutionary war, and we ain't going nowhere. Hmm. Well, Lizzie, I have to say that your argument is surprisingly articulate. And I agree that all men are created equal, even the black ones. And I can't argue with such sound logic. Thank you. Even if it does come from a woman. One step at a time. Well, folks, I believe that's all the time we have today. We'll see you next time on Ask a Slave. Lizzie May, I would very much like to touch your hair.